As DNA testing gets more sophisticated for humans, the same holds true for your hounds. A new expanded doggy DNA test can now identify more than 100 different breeds. And as News 8's Marcella Lee tells us, it's solving some major mutt mysteries. If you look at his face sometimes when he smiles, I see pit bull. Heart loss of The adoption paper said that he was a Doberman mix. Just like these dog owners, your guesses as to what makes up your mutt are probably a little off. We got him, and we've been guessing ever since. But thanks to DNA testing, we're going to check and see what your relatives were. More and more dog owners are learning exactly what breeds are in their dogs, leaving some people almost speechless. Wow. We did our first report about the canine heritage breed test last year, and the results for my mutt, Abby, created quite a mystery. Abby didn't match any of the 38 breeds included in the test. But now the test has been expanded and can identify more than 100 different breeds. So maybe Abby's not an alien dog after all. We'll get back to her in just a moment. First, here are the results of three other dogs we tested this time around. It's been about four weeks. How anxious have you been? I'm so anxious right now. When News 8 executive producer Barbara Richards adopted her dog shortly, she was told he was a shepherd mix, but she was positive he had Vizsla in him. At the end of World War I, this breed was all but extinct. I saw it on the Westminster Kennel Club dog show, and I said, that looks like shortly. And everybody said, you're nuts. You're nuts. Yeah, everybody said there's no way there's any Vizsla in that dog. Well, guess what? What? You're not nuts. <gasps> Vizsla is the main DNA of your dog. Oh, my God! <laughs> Vizsla is one of the new breeds that the canine heritage breed test can identify and was easily spotted in Shortley's genes, though it makes up less than 50% of his DNA. And then in his mix is German short-haired pointer, so we'll have to go look that up. Yes, we will. Akita. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and Pointer. No Pitbull? No Pitbull. No Pitbull. None. The new test can also identify several terrier breeds, something the old test couldn't. We got her at the pound in Milwaukee. So we tested Kobe. Although her DNA did not match any of the 14 terrier breeds on the list, Kobe is part poodle. She also has some dachshund in her. That's really surprising. That one I never would have guessed, a poodle I might have. And chihuahua. It's definitely different from what I would expect, but it definitely goes to the idea that she certainly is a mutt. We also ran the test on Howie, whose owner is the spokesman for Helen Woodward Animal Center. These are some of the foremost experts in mixed breed animals in San Diego County. The staff even held its own contest to guess Howie's heritage, and their guesses ran the gamut. Manchester Terrier, Whippet, Queensland Healer, German Shepherd, Beagle, Chihuahua, Rottweiler, Japanese Chin. Out of all those breeds, Howie matches none. <laughs> of those guesses. <laughs> None good. of the guesses? But in his mix, oh. there are four dogs. Oh. Boxer. Boxer? Rhodesian Ridgeback. Okay. Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> and Shiba Inu. Oh. A, a, a Chinese dog? Yeah, Japanese. What do you think? I, I had... <laughs> no guess of any of these whatsoever. <laughs> Shiba Inus are smaller than he is. Rhodesian Ridgebacks are bigger than he is. What, what's Cocker Spaniel about this? Now back to my dog, Abby. Remember the mystery dog when the test could only identify 38 breeds. Maybe some lab in her shepherd mix. Would we get a hit now with the new test that identifies 108 breeds? You're right on one. She has field Labrador retriever. But in addition to field Labrador retriever, she's got Siberian Husky in her. Really? Siberian Husky. Oh, Abby. <laughs> so the mystery is solved. My dog Abby's a working blue collar dog who likes the snow. Now, Lab and Husky were actually on the original breed list, but the expanded testing now identifies more than 250 genetic markers as opposed to only 93, and they also added more lines of dogs to the list. In addition to show labs, for example, they added the field lab, my dog, apparently not the AKC show lab, uh. but the field lab, the working dog. And it's really quite easy. They give you a...
<laughs> this is stop. Quint. That's teasing. This is Come Quint on, right here, who's loving Carlo's scratch. Um, there's a pipe. <laughs> he's thumping away. There's a pipe cleaner right here, and it's really pretty easy. You just lift the gum right there. You get the yeah. cheek swab. And then you send this in. It's the cheek cells that they test. You yes. send this in, and in four to six weeks, they'll send you a certificate. We've got Quince right here. And a couple surprises for Quint. He's a News 8 dog also. Um, he was gotten a uh, Collie, Shetland Sheepdog, Belgian Tervuren. These are, these are breeds that uh, the owner was not told he had when she bought him from a rancher wow. in Julian. So a lot of surprises here. And Rottweiler. Rottweiler and German Shepherd, they knew, but then right. the other mixes were a complete surprise. So the test is about $119 to upgrade $55. A little pricey, but, you know, even veterinarians say it could be helpful because a lot of dogs have, a lot of breeds have a history of hips, it, arthritis problems. So many health problems. conditions that are, you know, certain breeds are predisposed away. to. So he's just, he's had enough. He's, he's paid his he's candy. He's ready to, yes. to get out of here. And I know you have a, what you think is a pure breed, right? Um, you know, I mentioned this to her, and she was deeply hurt that anyone thought there was any doubt. So I'm just not even going to swab her cheek because she is pure You're not love, doubt and her. that's <laughs> all I care about. Because you could also use it to confirm. Too, really? So. Yeah. Well, we might have to look into that. <laughs> I don't care what Quinn is. I just like this dog. He's gorgeous. Let's make him thump some more. All He's right. A big, beautiful boy. There you go. <laughs> well, meantime, a big win tonight for Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. We'll have.